in our last session we learned what is in our last session we learned what is economics now let's see what is macroeconomics and microeconomics economics is divided into two parts microeconomics and macroeconomics what is this microeconomics and macroeconomics micro means small so microeconomics is that leg of economics that part of economics which is related to a particular unit small units like an individual a household a firm that is a company or a industry these are smaller units of the society so whatever economics they are facing around them is microeconomics like the income of an individual the income of a family the sales of a firm the assets of a company assets of an industry these are nothing but microeconomic concepts let's see what is macroeconomics macro means large it is the larger aspect of economy it is the aggregator aspect of economy it is the economics of aggregates it economics of sum totals sum totals of what the total income of the nation the total production of the nation the total population of the nation it is the economics of totals wherein particular or individual units are added and then an aggregate is developed from it so micro means small macro means large microeconomics is economic that is related to individual units macroeconomics is the economy that is related to the uh, nation or a country 